Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the reference angle. And what I did is, you know, I've showed other videos on how to find reference angles and what kind of the formula for them. So what I did is I looked at each different quadrant and I kind of wrote the formula to how to find the reference angle, which will be theta prime. In the first quadrant, theta prime is equal to theta. If you have an angle in the second quadrant, to find the reference angle theta prime, you just take 180 minus theta. And this is for degrees, because um, my answer is in degrees. So in my third quadrant, theta prime will equal theta minus 180 degrees. And in the fourth quadrant, my theta prime is going to equal 360 minus theta. So if I want to find the reference angle for 309 degrees, I need to know where exactly is 309 degrees. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch the graph in standard form. Now remember, if I start in standard form, that means my initial angle is going to be here, initial part of my angle. Up here would be 90 degrees, 180. 270 degrees, and then over here would be all the way around 360 degrees. So therefore, 309 degrees is going to be roughly some angle right around there. So therefore, that's going to be my angle theta. Now remember, the reference angle is your acute angle from the terminal side of your angle to the horizontal axis. Therefore, theta prime is going to be this angle right now, right there. So I look and I say, all right, well, that means I have an angle in the fourth quadrant. So to find theta prime, what I'm going to do is take 360 degrees and minus it from my theta, which is 309 degrees. Therefore, by doing my math, theta prime is going to equal 300, I'm sorry, not 300, is going to equal 51 degrees. So there you go, there you go ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find the reference angle for an angle in degrees in the fourth quadrant. Thanks.